Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the second episode of the series that I'm calling Whip and Sip. The idea is that these videos are just kind of an, an update. They're just like a monthly recap of how things are going in the studio um, and, and just a time for us to chat and kind of catch up about all the happenings. I don't... I'm really good at this if you can't tell. Today I'm going to give you a few updates on how my goals are going and I also want to talk about something that has been on my mind lately when it comes to having talent. We'll get into that in a minute. Uh, but tonight I am drinking strawberry lemon poppy and it is pretty good. So the month of January has come to a close. It is now February 1st and I, I love the month of February so much. The first reason that comes to mind is that it's my birthday month and not that I'm super into birthdays but I just have a lot of like warm fuzzy feelings about February. Like everything turns pink and red in the stores and all of the heart decorations everywhere. It just felt, it always felt like kind of a special time as a little kid. I just really loved the whole, the whole vibe of February. With my birthday always being at the beginning of the year, I, I can't help but have those kind of existential feelings of like another new year and I'm getting another year older and like what do I have to show for it? You know, those kinds of feelings. But this is the first year where I haven't really felt any of those feelings, which is pretty crazy and I don't know if that's just growing up or or what. Or maybe it's because I'm actually following through with a lot of the goals that I've set. <laughs> so in our last episode of Whip and Sip, I talked a lot about my goals for 2024 and so far so good. I've been able to draw nearly every single day and I've painted almost every single week. I feel like I've seen a lot of growth in my sketching especially. I talked a lot about this in my sketchbook tips video, so I don't want to rehash the same points, but I've been really looking forward to my sketching habit and I feel like I'm making a lot of improvement. The act of drawing every day is becoming a lot more natural and also a lot more fun. So there's kind of like two different things going on with me at the, at the moment. There's the illustration side where I'm trying to build my portfolio in like children's books and book covers, that kind of stuff. And then there's the other part of me that really enjoys oil painting, uh, specifically landscapes. So I feel like I'm making a lot of progress in like the illustration part, and it is slow going in the painting and landscape part. I love, I mean, I love painting. I feel like I'm fairly okay at it. Ironically, I feel like I can paint just about anything except for landscapes, but that's the subject matter that I really enjoy and the one that I want to get a lot better at. So what you're watching right now is a photo study took about an hour and a half and the process was really fun at the start. I'm noticing a pattern. It gets really fun at the start and then there's a moment of like, <gasps> I think I've just made an, a mistake and I can't come back from it. I got it to a point where I was really happy with it and then I just kept noodling at it and kind of overworking it. So I think the end result is like, okay, uh, but I really enjoy the colors about it. I enjoy some of the soft brush strokes I was able to get, especially in the snow and on the road, but the mountain itself, oof. It's all about learning and growing, and at the end of it all, I, I did it. You know, I put in the practice. In my video about my 2024 goals, I talked about how I want to study color and light. This is me following through on that, so, you know, can't really can't nitpick too much. So yeah, I mean, January was a pretty good month. I feel like I've put in a lot of practice and I've been getting, I've been getting into the habit of practice, which I feel like is m really important. I've been starting to get comments, you know, from friends and family members mostly. I mean, it's not like I'm this big deal over on Instagram or anything. Something that kind of stuck out to me was this idea, you know, I was, I've been told like, wow, you're so talented. Uh, that's come up several times and I, and I appreciate it. I really do. Um, but I wanted to kind of talk about this idea of being talented. I was like, why do I feel so weird about that one? Like, why, why can't I accept that one? I think it comes down to a little bit of imposter syndrome because I think about all of the other people that I know of who are what I, what I would consider amazingly talented and I don't picture myself in their ranks whatsoever. They're light years ahead of me. When I was younger, I used to think that you know, talent in anything, it was a God-given gift and you either had it or you didn't. And so if you didn't have it, there was no point in pursuing that thing that you're interested in because you don't have the talent for it. And I think it can keep you from doing a lot of really cool things that you're capable of simply because you just don't believe you have the talent to do it. Creativity is something that everyone has 
it's just like a muscle you need to practice. So some people, you know, are, are blessed with those artistic genetics that give them a little bit of a leg up. So like, I'm not saying talent doesn't exist, but what I am saying is that when you see someone who you believe is talented, it could be a combination of that. And most likely a huge factor is the amount of practice and time and dedication they've put into that craft or an, into that skill. So I almost feel like a better compliment to someone rather than saying you're so talented would be like wow I can tell you you're really passionate about this you can really see the work you've put into this or I can see your dedication because let me tell you there are days that I do not feel talented and in fact I would say most days while I'm making something that thought doesn't even cross my mind at this point talent has run out <laughs> and if I want to improve and I want to actually make a living from my art talent is not going to help me what's going to take me the rest of the way is going to be a lot of hard work there are some days where I'm not going to feel talented I love hearing the stories from my favorite artists about how hard they've worked to get to where they are. I love seeing their bad art from when they started um, because it gives the rest of us hope that we don't have to be talented to do this. And I think that this is so applicable to not just art, but to a lot of things in life. These are my jumbled, rambled thoughts about this. I'd love to know what you think. Would you prefer someone to see your work and say, you're so talented, or do you, would you rather they validate something else? I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. I've been known to do that. Thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate every single view, subscribe, comment, all of the all the likes. I mean, it's really a surreal experience starting a YouTube channel and actually getting a little bit of traction. So I don't know where this is going to take us, but it's been a lovely ride so far and that's all because of you. So thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye!